Released articles. So it's just a bunch of names. Okay. Can be taken for reuse. So articles of power that were released to various people. Mm. Mm hmm Probably uh useful things, maybe. I feel bad for not grabbing all this lore, but we'll we'll just read it between sessions. Have a nice big backlog saved up of what cool bits can we learn? And look, there's the pictures of environments. Oh, is this where I came from? Yeah, this is where I came from. Because originally this is the elevator. What does that say? Oh. Yep. What's her name? Director Jesse Faden. Jesse Faden. So. Has yeah, the date no changed for the building? Yep. On the building's poster. I'm just wondering. Has the name? No, it's still the oldest house. Okay. It's still the same. Yeah, what's the red room? I don't know. Uh, let's see. That's... It almost looks like a stairwell. Oh, look! It's a jukebox down there. Hmm. But it's, like, locked away, so that jukebox is probably an object of power. Mm-hmm. You explode the vending machines. Interesting question. Bang! Wow. Man, I haven't had this much fun with physics since Half-Life. <laughs> I, I can't screw around too long, but, like... This is the stuff that I used to do as a kid, where I'd just be like, I can break everything! Boom! But usually with a grenade, but still, same deal. Okay, let's let's make some progress here. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right. It's our enemy. So she has that an essay. Essi- contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. So she has one of these SCP things rolling around in her head. Mm -hmm. Presumably for a while. That's who she's responding to. Mm-hmm. Was that a recording of her? Hmm? When you interacted with the Radio? No, device. I just turned it on. It didn't do anything, though. But yeah, my my bet is there are weird supernatural things. And so the hiss is one of them, and it's loose in here. Yeah, there's just a radio I turned on. Nothing else to do with it. So let's Isn't see. It the, this oh, the is pyramid. A, like, Wait, is that a... A ritual? This? Sort of. Oh, battle time. It's almost like they'd made a pentagram with equipment. Watch out for your health. I was not watching. I was just like, maybe I can stun lock him or something, but there was another guy. So that was a tougher enemy. Powerful, but not invincible, yeah. Yeah. I just, I, it's almost two in the morning. I'm having a great time, but I'm also very tired, so I'm not going to play good mm -hmm. at all. Uh, it's also one of those where it's all red. Uh, oh. Well, it starts you before you enter the room. Let's see. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. No. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. 
So I get to keep all of my that my is contagious. Notes. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Got the jump on him that time. Oh, a grenade. See? Yep. But I don't have to hop down immediately. Oh. So Ranger, Ranger second class Polanski. And he's down. Mm-hmm. Must cleanse control points. An enemy. Corrupt. Spreading them. And this is why I turned the, the brightness up. Point. What does that mean? Help oh, that's me a control it. point. I think the voice was coming from that shelter. Yeah. Please. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the Hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The Hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. Well, you did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's, I can't even. Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the Hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. 
She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Okay. It's Let's interesting that they just readily accepted her as the new director. It, this is probably normal for, well, what passes as normal around here. Come on, come on. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. I can't cleanse them, I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an Altered World event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof, this is already it, more than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. 
There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the... The hotline should be in the communications department. Hey, options. Her directions weren't that important. So we're just going to go down the list? Sure. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Mm. Yeah, so that's the device she's wearing, and presumably anyone that wasn't wearing them at the time that the hiss was released here yep, is... Yep, got haunted. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. So people are commenting on the lip syncing for this game. Effectively, what they did they was- They probably mo-capped it. Yeah, it's very clearly mo-capped, but it's not, it doesn't fit the face for very well. My assumption is- Well, the internals of the face are always gonna be, like inside their mouth is gonna look a little bit peculiar. Let's see. Yeah. And so it doesn't quite fit the 3D models and they only mainly got the the mouth and there's not a whole lot of like secondary animation there's and starting of the eyes too yeah and blinking. it's a little bit and so it's it's gonna look a little bit funky but you gotta remember this is an indie studio that made this this is not this is not actually a particularly big studio that made this game i'm actually not sure how many people work at remedy but like i remember 
when I was starting my channel, Remedy was tiny. I think even on the verge of... Maybe not, like, collapse or bankruptcy or anything of the sort, but, like... They were not a very big or popular studio. And then they, I think, came into a fair bit of money uh, to make Quantum Break. Look like there's anything in this room yet. Not unless you wanted to look at all the build bulletin boards and yeah, the pictures and everything. Yeah, but like everything. staring at all of that is going to... That's a long rabbit hole. I just want to grab the files and come back later. There's also these things all over the place which have loot. Mm -hmm. Some of it is like memories and stuff that I think we use for crafting. And some of it is actually like just gun mods and stuff. So do you have any theories on what the hiss is? Like I mean, some kind my of assumption entity? is it's it's very similar to what's... Oh, there's something on the right back there. Oh, the radio? No, no, left. It was over by the trash can. I thought I saw a dot. No, not you're that. seeing that. No, not, not that trash can, the other one. Oh, here? No. Oh. Aw. I thought I saw a circle. But maybe it was... The problem is that everything's spinning so fast. Yeah, sorry. I'm going kind of quick. Is there anything interesting about that map? It was the one that we saw in the vision. This one? No, the one to the right, but that's interesting too. Um... United States of America, Federal Bureau of Control, Develop Department of Unhuman Affairs. Ah. Oh, this map. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just a floor plan. Last, last encounter. I see, so they're trying to keep track of when anomalies show up? Probably, yeah. There are a lot of rooms. Ooh, look at all the post-it notes. Clearance level. And fortunately, my clearance level is atrocious. Despite the fact that you're director. Yeah. So, I guess we've got to up our clearance level to get any further. Let's see, you pre-order this, but it won't let you uh, preload the game. I've heard Epic's preload is kind of bad, so honestly, I just wait till tomorrow. I've also heard it's like straight up non-functional with certain games, not all of them. So I can't go through here. Oh, we're just... Looped back around again. Yep. Oh, we're here. Sort of. Okay, what is this? Time cube. Laser beam physics chart calculation sketch. Yeah, a lot of kooky math. Ooh, this is interesting. I love all of the retro futuristic tech all over the place. Like, this is really cool to me. There's something so. I don't know. I, I could. I don't want to necessarily say pleasant, but seeing a lot of old machinery that's in such good condition and everything is really nice. Yeah, it's charming, especially because, like, most of that stuff now is either, like, in a museum or junk and, like, busted, and it's really cool to see it, like, clean and... This whole thing is actually really cool to me. I, I saw a picture of a, a General Motors uh, secretary in a lobby back in, like, the 50s or 60s or something like that, mm -hmm. and it, was, it looks it, like this. It was a different time. Everything was... I don't want to say extravagant, but refined and... There was a, a, there was an aesthetic that they were pushing. Even if it was egregious and wild. Would you almost say that things today are a bit too sterile? And that what makes these offices and such, they almost, I don't want to say appear rustic, but when you're using carpet and wood and stone and such in this fashion, it's very different from the hard surfaces and tile and things that we have in our modern workspaces. Yeah. And also I they shy away from using white. I think white really became the in thing to show cleanliness. 
of a workspace. Mm -hmm. But then everything is just blaringly bright and... Boardroom. Oh. Oh, that's oh, right, where right, she right. is. Yes. This is where she is. I wonder if we collect more people if they show up here. Maybe not. But also... If you think about it from an investment standpoint, a lot of these touches in a office building like this would be very needless. Costly expenditure for little oh, reason. Oh, a containment Hello. cell? And it's that's the where jukebox. the jukebox is. We do not have clearance for I this. almost expect it to start playing music that and piecing things together to try to say sentences. Yeah. That'll be interesting when we get to interact with that. Also, security room, some other things. Let's make a little bit more progress, and then I'm probably gonna, well... Sector elevator. Oh, there's that rug again that resembles a maze. Yeah. No, I... I... So, on one hand... Oh. Yeah, it wants me to go that it's way. The, it's the peculiar scintillating aperture... Yeah. ...that designates whatever the entity that's talking to her is? Yeah. So, I actually have very strong memories of buildings like this. Uh, very specifically, one of my earliest memories, and it's super vague because I was a freaking baby, uh, is actually of, like, the the hospital where my brother was born. Mm -hmm. Um, And it had a very similar, like, visual to this because, I, you know, I wasn't in the room, obviously. Um... I just remember being outside in, like, kind of an orange-brown hallway, and it was very strange-looking. Maybe it wasn't the hospital my brother was born, but it, w it was definitely, like, a hospital when I was very, very young. And I didn't have my parents around for a little while, and it was upsetting. And it was this, like, almost this, like, right here. Mm hmm You know, wall paneling, orange, red-orange carpet and stuff. And then I also remember visiting my parents' old, uh, my mother's old college, I think? And on one hand, it's a very striking visual, and on the other hand, I don't actually find it comforting in the slightest. And so I'm kind of glad we've moved away from the style. There oh, I've definitely again. seen that wall, though. A welcome message. Yeah, that? Oh, yeah. T my lots of places have that. Concrete. Wait, what is it? What is he saying? So it's something can push their fingers. Always been me. Did you check the other room before you come in here? Oh. Uh, I mean, this one's sealed off and the other one's locked. Oh, okay. So that's the only way to go. Time to fight. Up these guys. Ooh, boy. I'll also admit this is really hard on my eyes. Might have been all of them, not sure. The music is probably a good indication. Sounds like Tomasi is losing it down there. Mm hmm. Overpowering here. You oh, so you have to clear out the red it. first. I'm with you on that. If we go through there, that's going to be bad. So that's that's closer to where it got in. Cafeteria. We, yeah, there's dining platters and things. He's going to be down in here somewhere. I like the tree. Oh. Whoa. 
Oh. Yeah. They had thrown a grenade, but it didn't. It landed on the other side. Mm-hmm. What do they look like? Can you look down at that corpse before it disappears? Ah. Oh. Oof. That's terrifying. Sort of shrunken in and withered. Yeah. With the odd peculiar, the magenta hue or the red to their eyes. Mm -hmm. I had seen it glinting in the distance, but I didn't know if they were glowing or not. That's sealed off. Men's. Okay. Ah. We have. Yep. Yeah. At some point I'll have to mess around with these. Probably once things get a little harder. Aha! Classified women's notices. <laughs> what secret files are you keeping? In the ladies' room. You get yourself tangled on all those ropes. Because I can't shelter. Oh. I feel like I should open that later, though. Are you going to read any of the summaries? Maybe the ones that don't have redactions in them? I, my eyes are, like, I can to read get, them. like, kind of screwy, so I was hoping I could, we could clear this and then read all of the correspondences. Ah, I see. I know. Dead letters. I guess he's in this area. Freaking creepy. French. French. Dead letter approval. Mm. You know, we're probably gonna revert this place because it's it's sufficiently screwed up. Yeah, Last it's the it's the segmentations. All over the cubes. again. get closer to that and mess with it soon. I just like to grab all the goodies in case they get shuffled around or even moved. Or removed. Uh-oh. I think I pissed it off. Yep. Yep, there's someone up there. Look at how high those filing cabinets are. It's wild. I'm kind of glad we don't have to rely on a lot of stuff like that. Like, I know it's kind of quaint and whatnot, but do you remember in, like... Now, did they... They probably did all this on analog devices because they don't want any potential for it to leak out. How the heck? Oh, that ladder? There you go. Yeah, wow. That's awkward to get to. A personal mod. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Grenade. Yeah. We know the studio that created Max Payne is almost considered in a small indie team now. Really? Wait, Max Payne? The Max Payne people made Alan Wake? Oh, yeah, I really needed to do more research on these studios. How about Bum Tom Clancy? Uh, I'm just throwing that well, out there. Well, Tom, Cl Tom Clancy is pretty much Ubisoft at this point, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just rattling off other names. If, if a game series was just called Name Name, how about Dick Tracy? <laughs> I don't know if there's ever been a Dick Tracy game. Oh, an introduction. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts 
vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. <laughs> Wait, so a collective consciousness spurred it into being? Or? Yeah, so effectively, uh, it, objects of power are things that we have given, um, power by respecting. Easy example would be, like, the very first American flag would probably have some kind of object of power to it because it's become such a symbol of something. Mm -hmm. Um, what would be another example? Uh, you know, a particularly unique uh, skull and crossbones flag. You know, like if you could get one from. Well, yeah, but then there's also. What else would we have? Statue of Liberty. Yeah, Statue of Liberty probably is some kind of wild thing. Maybe the crown jewels. Uh, let's see, what would be another easy example? Maybe, I mean, gun that killed JFK. Uh, Rosetta Stone. Yeah, Rosetta Stone. I'm trying to but think. But you would think that these objects would help you do or perform the very things that they were. Well, yeah. Conceived by, like, so launching the nuke codes. He's saying, "Oh, we've launched pencils. We've launched a cup." Yeah. It's almost as though he's mocking it. Um. Well, it's because it, it itself might not be very powerful compared to some other things. I don't know. Because one would expect the Rosetta Stone to say, give you the ability to learn any language or... translate anything. Communications are on the right track. But also it's massive. I think my dad had a small replica of it, like a to scale replica, but it was tiny. So I always assumed, oh, the Rosetta Stone is just a, you know, one foot by one foot block of stone. Ooh, oh, more blood. But I actually think it's taller than a person, isn't it? I think so? 